three for Dale. <laughs> wow. Oh, if I didn't even think about it. Now I look cool. <laughs> All right, if anyone shows up to see the cars wearing this, give them a sticker. I think we're gonna have to we're amputate them. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. What's up guys, we're up here working on the Camaro as you guys saw last time when we let off. James and I were just pulling the supercharger to start doing some things underneath the blower like changing out the hat on the distributor for our dual sync holly distributor. That little thingy back there is just gonna be giving cam and crank signal to the computer. So we're gonna be running Toast completely on a coil on the plug system. So essentially, Toast runs exactly how Leroy runs, Ruby, Neighbor. It's exactly like that. So there's really no distributor besides this primary setup that we're about to do. So, so the last day, James and I have been freaking working like crazy. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of wiring. James did a really nice job with that. We got plug wires made. Plugs are in the, the engine already. I mean, we got to put oil in this thing and we're getting ready to turn it over for the first time. We don't have the blower on yet because we have to set up the distributor to make sure it's aligned properly. So the sync signals that it gives to the computer aren't out of sync, you know, it could be positive 10 degrees and then we have 180 hours or yeah then we crazy. yeah then we'd be Try in real trouble backwards we don't want to fire up toast and have a big backfire and break something so what we're doing right now is getting ready to uh just get that set up and then we're gonna put the blower on which you guys are gonna love watching because it's a huge struggle fest with how heavy it is we got her over there filled with gear oil full of freedom and uh just getting there man it's the end of the day today it's been two days since we filmed We've just been going ham trying to get this thing ready for uh, Cleese Cars Houston, we at least want to bring it there and be able to fire it up. That's our goal. So there's no way we can take it there and do a burnout. There's just so much to do. And if we take it and don't have it put together right and blow it up, that'd be a huge bummer. You know? be a lot more work. Yeah, that'd be a lot more work. So we don't want to just rush it to Houston, break it. We're going to take it to Houston and at least hopefully fire it up for the fans. But we still got a lot of work to just get to that point. So we got to get after it and get some stuff done, fire it up tonight, and then we leave tomorrow. All right, guys, so you will notice our Blueprint valve covers are off. So Blueprint sent us a different set of valve covers that they wanted us to run that has a different baffling in it. So we're gonna have these on temporarily. They don't say anything on them, but we got some new Blueprint ones on the way. It's uh, ready to check timing. We actually put a tune in the car. I mean, this is exciting. Might We're about to be toasting stuff. It might. It might. You got this fuel pump wire going back. Yeah, I got to plug in these two spark plug wires and Couple chewy. Couple fuel lines, a blower, and we're good. Couple fuel lines, a supercharger, and we're on our way. So we've got the KSR Fab guys here, Kevin and Travis, and uh, you guys look tired too. Been helping Jeremy out. Been up some silks. <laughs> well, there you go. Drove all the way down here. So we're about to check timing. Uh, at the crank to start time, it should be about 14 degrees, so go ahead. Okay. All right, that's yeah, like 12. What do you see? Well, 12, 13. Well, 12 or 13, close, close enough. enough. All right, so does Holly that mean high. blower on? Yes. Hell yeah. All right, guys, our Holly EFI system is functioning. Woo! Supercharger time. Finally, dude. We've been dying to put this thing on and bolt it down. So we got our gasket on, we got to grab the blower. Well, so we got the snout on, we got our fuel plate is already on there. And the tensioner. Tensioner, yeah, you've added to it since we last had to li team lift it. Team lift, here we go. Yeah. Let's just, let's go for it. Oh, we got Kevin, we got triple team lift. Finger pincher 3000. <laughs> wow, we actually did that pretty smooth. Something's holding yeah, it's caught on it something. Oh, right here. Oh, the, uh, the water next to it. In the right. Oh, that's like almost an engine hoist type now of situation. Dude, it is almost an engine hoist situation. Who needs, who needs water where we're going? No. It just means you run out of alcohol, right? Yeah. All right, so we got to put our nuts on here. Nuts and washers. Floor is pretty much in place. It spins. It's got oil in it. We remembered. We remember it. This never gets old looking at it. <laughs> All the cars need this. Imagine so you need the other run. two. Twin turbos. Yeah. Oh, both. The moment we've all been waiting. The large shiny. This is its first time going on, like, officially. Yeah, last time was held on with a battery. Yeah, the old paper weighted on there. There you go. Damn. Holy crap. All right, let me get hardware. <laughs> 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 a little front heavy. Brap. Uh, <laughs> Look at those blades. That's not gonna. That's not gonna be a brap. 
It wasn't before the injector stuff. Goals achieved. We're gonna have to get a billet adapter made if it wasn't. We would have had to put the spacer on it. It's almost like dead even with the roof. Is it? <laughs> oh no, it's definitely oh, taller. It's an inch and a half. Yeah. Oh, baby. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get the full perspective. It might look a little more level if the front end's down. Woo! -wee. Oh, oh, oh. that Crap. So guys, you'll see over here, we got this little thing. This is our throttle position sensor. So if you got an EFI car, you can use TPS, which you gotta have for the Holly. This has got it. Dude, that's just perfect. It's gotta say USA across the front. I don't think there's anything better yeah. we could put on there. Maybe even red, white, and blue. The thing is, these are hard to get off, I get. Or they said, they said they'd prefer if we didn't take them off and then put them back in. So we have to paint them on the car, which is fine, but all right, guys, we got some buttoning up to do, like things like just bolting this stuff together. We gotta run some fuel lines, things like that. Everything's pretty much tight though at the moment. So this thing could run. We just gotta give it some fuel. We got the spark, we know that. We're about ready. Yeah. Freaking so stoked, man. I can't wait to hear the cog. Finger pain. Woo! All right, guys, so we got the belt on. Everything's tightened down. I don't think we have full, well, it's actually pretty tight. It's a lot tighter than I thought I could get it. And we're still building the training mount, a couple other things, or the training cooler mount, a couple other things, but James is gonna turn it over and just see if this little starter we have can even turn this blower. I mean, well, yeah, I guess. Oh, yes, it can. It is hard for a second there, though. It woke that thing up. Yeah. Dang. That's enough spin to start it, I think. I think so. We'll see. It's gonna be close. We're just wrapping things up with the transmission and fuel lines, and we'll do this. Well, the return was right to there. It returned nice. to the ground. We checked for leaks and we found leaks. An entire hose. The biggest of leaks. I'll tell you we had a leak. Just I'm like driving hair. the fuel pump. Like Cooper, you see any leaks? <laughs> the hose is just laying on the ground. The hose is laying out there, <laughs> bogging out. <laughs> so we just uh Good thing it ain't one of them 5.0s. We'd be in trouble. <laughs> so guys, here's where we're at. We got transmission fluid in the car. We got oil. We got our wideband bung put in. Show them the trans cooler mount. It's pretty serious. Trans cooler up over here. Throttle cable bracket, sir. Yeah, we got an incredible throttle cable designed by the fellas at KSR Fab. Now James even had to leave. It's so late, but he did an excellent job wiring. I mean, I powered everything up and it's, it is all working. So that's exciting. Fuel pump's priming. Kevin, you missed a little on that. Oh. A little fuel explosion. Oh, oh, as you can see, we got a little bit of fuel explosion. Well, the return was to right there. It was just a hose on the ground. <laughs> Didn't go anywhere. I mean, your floor needed to be cleaned anyway, so. Yeah. Show us what you got going. I'm on my way, boss. <laughs> go faster. Get the wide band in. Yep. We're ready to go, baby. Come on. So we should hear the. This is. We also have the Holly, uh, just kind of jump wired right now, so. Give it power. Got some alligator clips there. Hear that? That's the fuel system priming up. Cool things are happening. Very close, guys. We're almost there. You want to work the throttle? <laughs> Actually, you should. I got you have a guillotine? This. I got to hold these starter wires. Uh, good God, I'm going to be uh, Woohoo! Put me in an uncomfortable spot <laughs> too quickly. <laughs> You're a good man. Oh my god. <laughs> he is pretty contained when it comes to this type of stuff. Alright, let's set the fuel pressure. Straight up front's a kind of sketchy. You get sucked in. Yeah. What if all the airflow sucks my t-shirt off? Alright, boy, you got a lock right here. Copy that. Lock her down. Alright. So Jeremy, you're doing this? Wide open. Uh, yes. <laughs> we got Kevin KSR Fab on the computer. All right, you got power. Up, right? I gotta remember how it's just a hot wire. Dang, I lost my. How do we have to kill the? Fingers, Fingers crossed. Whew. Jeremy, you got this. Uh, I really 
Try not to <laughs> like, give it a ton. Good call, good Don't call. It you should only take just a Oh no, I'm rack. Right. I'm like trying to keep it close. Okay. For the yeah. Moment. Ready? Yeah. yeah. All steamy. Oh, jumper wire. Yeah. With the freedom ring, baby. Come on. So we've got a timing issue going on where we're firing way late, so you can hear it rumbling out the exhaust and the shooting sparks out. Something's not right with the timing, so. We got to get the timing light out and figure this out. So, it has been figured out. Maybe. Well, Potentially. I have a suspicion the distributors was yeah. set up 180 degrees out. So, that, so. Was, that was me. The guy talking about how much he hates distributors. <laughs> it was him. I did it backwards, probably. All right. You need a bump? Yep, bump. Be on. Are you checking time? Just, no, just, I'm just, I'm trying to find compression on number one. Hopefully, we'll get it figured out without pulling the blower off. Ready? Yep. Bump. Okay. Oh, we're on TDC number one right now. All right, Fox. <laughs> Late at night. Why are you so green, bro? This I'm is working so, all day. This is so embarrassing. I have never cut myself like this. I mean, we've all cut ourselves, but. I don't think it's embarrassing. It uh, is what it I've is. I've done it before a few times. Guys, I was trying to pry something using a razor blade, and I cut myself really badly. Like straight across here, straight up filleted my beard. Yeah, we actually just cleaned up a lot of blood all the way through here. <laughs> and I leave for Cleus and Cars in the morning. And I'm, just, I'm so frustrated. In my editing hands. <laughs> 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 oh, so stupid, man. Like, trying to get this thing pried open. And I went, and it broke. The razor blade snapped, and it just went up three of my fingers, just cut them. You left, you left an O.J. Simpson trail like on the way here. I was, I ran over here like this. Oh, I should they stop all, into a clinic. They're still moving, so that's yeah. good. I'd be really excited to get fired up right now, actually. Yeah, I should try. Yeah. I think I'm okay to hang out for a while. He's probably gonna pull the, I can't drive the RV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in no condition to drive, Cooper. <laughs> I better take a flight. <laughs> You and Holly is your service dog. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well, it could be a lot worse. I could have slipped and jugulared myself. That would have been really bad. Yeah, you should see the other guy. You got him you pretty good. <laughs> Let's sweat in tears, baby. Let's go. Alright. <sighs> yep. I always hop on up real quick after something yeah, like that. After almost passing out. Yeah. What, what blood type are you against? <laughs> No idea. <laughs> Mountain Dew. You're an organ donor? Give just me an in case. idea of Mountain Dew and I'll survive. Kevin figured it out. It was the blower was holding it down in a position that I didn't see, so I was prying against the supercharger, which is holding it down on the very corner of the cab like an idiot. Here's the reason. It's fell out now. Oh! Three for Dale. <laughs> wow. Oh! I didn't even think about it. Now I look cool. <laughs> All right, if anyone shows up to police the cars wearing this, give them a sticker. I think we're gonna have to amputate them. Okay, so we're about to check timing. It should be, should look the same, but basically what was happening is we weren't firing on our power stroke, we were firing on our exhaust stroke. Exhaust stroke. So it should it'll look the same for him, but we're just making sure it still lines up. And it does have some fuel in it, so it could try and fire here. Here we go. Even with the injectors on <laughs> it tried to fire. I told you, my, it's, all right, all right. It's, it's close enough. It tried to fire. Okay. So. Yeah. It sounded a lot better already. Oh, yeah. It sounded sick. Other hand. Other hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Blower belt back on. That was it. Woo! Just had to lose a little bit of blood. Yeah. I had to, I had to sacrifice had to the car. One later. with the vehicle. <laughs> cool. This big, beautiful blower belt. The idea is they're still working on the throttle. Uh, yep. That was promising. That was a very promising rumble rumble. So it's gonna be earplugs in. To drill this out. Alright, here we go. For America. Come on, baby. I can't 
can't do anything. You looked at me and I, I was like, you know, like this started stuck in my hand and I was like, oh god. I saw a panic in Jeremy's oh, face. Oh. I'm, like, I'm gonna sit here and hold this. Like, Jeremy's trying to hold it closed. All right, we gotta Let's take some more out. Let's look yeah. for vacuum leaks. Turn yeah, here. that's what I was just thinking. Turn here's back, Jeremy. Oh, we just hold on. We just took a ton out. It had a lot. It was, it had a ton. <laughs> <laughs> it had you enough. Any other vacuum leaks anywhere? I don't think so. I don't so. see I went any. over them pretty well. Man, this thing's going to be so touchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's gonna it, be like, if it was revving wow! that high with, with that little crack. Not, I mean, dude. You couldn't even see the, like, back the, the back opening. Back the stops off so that you can shut the blades. It's, it's even, it's, it's open right there. That's what we did though. We just backed him off, so. Yeah, but he wasn't able to shut the blade. That's as far as we can go. No, um, you got more here. I got, yeah. I would take these. Yeah, take like, these totally all the way up. Yeah. Totally loose. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give you power. Woo! Maybe get like a flat piece of cardboard. Just <laughs> in case. <laughs> At least this engine's already broken in. It's already been on the dyno. Yep. All right, Jeremy, don't blow this thing up. <laughs> it's all on you. <laughs> it's like it's stuck there, so that's fine. Damn! It's gonna be such a finite adjustment to yeah. make it idle. Holy crap! It's all you, Jerry Bear. All right, guys, here we go. Touchy. It's gonna shake off the damn lift. Yeah. It's touchy as hell. Oh, 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 oh. Jeremy, you look like you're like riding a bull. So Jeremy's like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jeremy's like moving it like this much. Yeah. Yeah. This thing's gonna be really hard to drive without a progressive. And we're back on. It's all the fuel. It's venting the crankcase yeah, it's right starting, there. Starting to ventilate out of the <laughs> dipstick hole. Dude, hell yeah. We got the 632 <laughs> fired up. All right, dude. That's that's good enough for me. We got it freaking All right. up. Running. All right. Hell yeah. Gosh, that is impressive. Thank you guys so much. That is so impressive. Look at the <laughs> condensation on that. Yeah, is that from the fuel? Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap, that's dude. That's because of the fuel above that's the blur. Insane. Ice cold. It's because of the ethanol. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> that is crazy. Look yeah. at this guys. U S A. Number three. That's crazy. Alright, woo! Hell yeah. We got the We got Toasted Camaro fired up, guys. It took a little bit of an effort, but uh that's it. I mean shoot, I don't know what else to say. How much horsepower do you think it's making at idle? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a lot. Moving so much air. Dude, it is just moving air. And you can feel the heat it's making too, but this is crazy, guys. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm super thankful for uh, all you guys watching the build. And shout out to the blower shop, Blueprint Engines. They were the largest contributing members to this this project right here. And then also Holly and Summit Racing and you know all the guys helping out. So we're just getting ready to freaking get this thing buttoned up. We are in fact bringing toast to Houston, but there's going to be a lot. There's a lot of things left that we won't be able to finish before then. So we'll bring them. We'll try and fire them up when we get there. But I'm just super excited to even hear this thing with a 632 with a 1071 supercharger running. It's <laughs> awesome. It's a tuning nightmare already. We can tell, but we're going to get it figured out. That's for sure. It's just one of those things that kind of takes time. So we'll end it off there. We leave for Houston in the morning. We're taking neighbor. Ruby, Toast, we'll see you guys on Saturday. Gonna have a freaking blast out at Houston Raceway. If you guys need event details, they're in the description below. There's also a link to buy tickets early if you want to at a discount. So 
that's it. We're just stoked, man. And thanks so much for the support, guys. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. It's already morning time. Oh, is it already the morning? Yeah. Is it really? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs>